five ways to build muscle on a vegan diet. Now, this is very important because I get a lot of questions all the time saying, hey, Justin, um, I went vegan. I'm alkaline. I don't know how to build muscle. I'm eating chickpeas all day. I'm eating brown rice. I'm eating wild rice, and I don't know what to do, and I need help. And one of the main reasons why this trouble happens is because, you know, we don't fail we don't fail to plan. We plan to fail. And the reason why that is is because most people don't have the structure. And if you had the structure, it would be easier to build muscle and stick to it consistently. And that's tip number one. Having a detailed plan. Having a blueprint. Right? If you don't have a blueprint, you don't know when you're making progress. If you don't have a blueprint, you don't know when you're regressing opposed to progressing. So you want to make sure you have a structured plan something laid out in detail even if you go to google.com right now type in workout plan or how to build muscle that's better than nothing that's better than going to the gym and not doing and, and just doing any old thing right so have a blueprint right number two is knowing that you're tracking your progress i don't know how many times i hear it all the time you know justin i'm struggling with weight loss i want to get more healthier more fit uh, when, well, how much do you weigh? Or when the last time you weighed yourself? And they don't even know. Probably like a week ago, two weeks ago. About a week ago, a week ago, right? And, and the problem with that is because you don't know when you are going in the right direction. I know people hate the scale and it gets you discouraged. But if you are not tracking everything you don't know if you're making progress right now you may be making progress right now you may be building muscle at the right rate but you don't even know it because you're not tracking it so you have to track it that is number <laughs> it's super important right there right super important if you're not tracking everything it's nothing that I'm gonna tell you later in this video that's gonna help you all right um, so that's very important. Number three is making sure you have the right amount of protein each and every day. Um, most people just try their best to eat right. I say, um, how consistent is your diet? I'll ask somebody that. And they say, oh, I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, 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 what does pretty good mean? Right. What does pretty good mean? It's pretty good mean pretty good compared to somebody who eats McDonald's three times a day. Does pretty good mean better than um, the girl that's on my 600 pound life that eats three whole pizzas by herself? Like what does pretty good mean? I don't even know what that means. Right. So pretty good isn't good enough. Pretty good isn't good enough. Pretty good or okay or yes, it's consistent. It doesn't mean anything, right? So you really have to know for a fact that you're getting enough protein, right? You have to know for a fact. You have to be tracking it, right? You have to know what you're getting to know. You can't be, you know, just a leaf in the wind and expect to build some muscle. It took me over um, four to five years to put on um, 40 pounds of muscle. And that's with all the trials and tribulations, right? I did it wrong in the beginning, too. So it took me that long, right? It probably takes you less time if you had the right structure and you knew exactly what you were doing. And you, if you knew for a fact that you were getting enough protein, okay? Number four is, and this is a super, super big one, recovery, all right? Recovery. You can't expect your muscles to grow if you're not giving it the proper rest or proper sleep. People think that they can just thrive off four to five hours of sleep. Now, some people, it's been recorded and it's documented that some people can do good with only three to four hours of sleep. Yes, they're the outliers, right? But chances are you're not some special snowflake that you can get away with three to four hours of sleep. Now, that's fine if you don't want to be healthy, right? Right. Matthew Walker, uh, a leading um, psychologist, wrote the book Why We Sleep. And in that book, he talks about the research studies that says that people over a lifetime that gets less than seven hours of sleep throughout their lifetime it correlates with the same people who has dementia alzheimer's it's a big correlation with that almost causation right almost causation so if you are getting less than seven hours of sleep forget about building muscle <laughs> you need to worry about not being able to remember anything when you get 50 all right 
having dementia or Alzheimer's or worse, not even being able to walk in general and have all type of health conditions. OK, so if you really want to improve yourself when it comes to health and fitness, you have to give your body the proper recovery to actually adapt. All right. The muscles adapt. Adaptation. But you have to force that adaptation by making sure that you're putting your body in the right alignment and rest proper rest will do that okay and last but not least number five and this right here probably going to shock a lot of you it is following in the footsteps of somebody who has already done it all right when it comes to health and fitness i was lost when i first got started all right and i had to invest in myself and i bought a program i bought a program yes i paid money for someone to teach me how to build muscle yes Okay. Yes. I paid money to someone to teach me how to build muscle because I didn't know how to do it. Look, every single successful person on this planet that has any level of success, and I guarantee if you know their name, let's, let's name some people, Oprah, um, Bill Gates, Will Smith, right, Michael Jordan, late Kobe Bryant, all of them had mentors, all of them had coaches, all of them had somebody teaching them how to improve. Now, I'm not I, I'm nowhere near as good at anything in my life as good as um, Kobe or Michael Jordan was good at basketball. Right. They 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 played basketball better than I do anything and everything in my life. And I'm saying that I can do it. I can get to my goals without having a coach. <laughs> Am I serious? So you're no exception. We all need help in areas but but to tell yourself that you rather try it and bump your head by yourself, you're you're adding extra years that could have been reduced on to making progress. All right. We we all have to learn from mistakes, but though all those mistakes don't have to be our own. So I would recommend you get a mentor, get a get a coach, get a program and, and get someone to help you on this journey. Right. And if you need help with building muscle on a vegan diet, on the alkaline diet, what I want you to do is just click the link below and take my Fit Vegan Quiz. It's absolutely free of charge. Look, I don't have anything to sell you, nothing to sell you. But I do want more vegans out there. Why? Because it's better for the environment. No animals have to die. And also, it's better for you because you will be more healthier if you go vegan, all right? So you can click the link below and take my Fit Vegan Quiz. Absolutely free of charge. It takes two minutes, and it'll tell you every single thing you need to know about going vegan, being vegan, and, and, and getting to your health and fitness goals on a vegan diet, all right? So if you like this video, you know, I'm out here in the pool right now just, just chilling. If you like this type of video, like, comment, share, and subscribe, all right? Comment below what you like the most about the video, okay? And uh, to next time, fuel yourself, don't fool yourself. Peace out.